Aquaman has super strength, bulletproof skin, and all the creatures of the ocean are at his beck and call. But being able to command your own undersea army is just something in comic books and movies. Or is it? I'm Rusty Ward, and science friction has just passed the 100,000 subscriber mark. So I wanted to say thank you to everyone. I've been overwhelmed by the positive response this series has gotten and have really appreciated all of your comments and superpower requests. I also recently did a special episode of Science Friction for Wired. It ties in with Captain America and tells you how to brainwash your own Winter Soldier. If you have a chance to check it out, I would greatly appreciate it. It's the success of projects like these that will enable me to continue this series. Now, back to the king of the seven seas. Aquaman doesn't mess around. You don't want to stand in his way. When his left hand got chewed off, he didn't crawl into a corner and cry, poor me. He tied a harpoon to his wrist and found the man responsible. Though his ability to communicate with sea life is usually derided, many of us at some point in our lives have had the dolphin dream. The fantasy that we could swim with a pod of dolphins and be accepted by them and benefit from their extraordinary aquatic abilities. It turns out it's not just armchair marine biologists that daydream about this, but also the military. In 1960, the Navy started the Marine Mammals Program. They started with bottlenose dolphins, training them to identify and retrieve objects from the water. The dolphins proved incredibly adept at identifying underwater mines. Then they trained dolphins to detect and defend against enemy swimmers. If they found a diver attempting to attach an explosive device to the hull of a ship, they were trained to tag that diver with a marker that would alert their handlers to the enemy's presence. And they used this ability in active service during the Vietnam and Persian Gulf Wars. During the Vietnam War, the Soviet Union accused the US of using dolphins to kill but the Navy denies that they ever train their dolphins to harm people. But Ukraine doesn't deny this. After the fall of the Soviet Union, they were pretty open about what they were training their military dolphins to do. One task involved applying a clamp to an enemy diver. Now, an enemy is more valuable if captured alive, so if they could locate him, they would take him alive. But if he escaped, they would trigger the clamp. Then the clamp would inject 3,000 PSI of carbon dioxide into the diver. This would cause his body to float to the surface after his innards were forcibly ejected out of his mouth and anus. Another use was deploying them as kamikaze torpedoes. Many dolphins were killed after they were strapped with explosives and sent after test targets. And in case you didn't find training dolphins to do that bizarre enough, they were also intended to be used as paratroopers. The deadly dolphins were to be fitted with a parachute harness and then dropped into enemy waters from extreme altitudes. And marine animal training isn't restricted to dolphins. Both the US and the Ukraine have also trained sea lions. The US Navy has what they've termed a shallow water detection system. It involves sea lions carrying clamps with lines attached to them. Sea lions identify an intruder and then attach the clamp to them. Then a security team reels the intruder in and detains them. The Navy has also used beluga whales and orcas for retrieval tasks because they can dive deeper and resist colder temperatures than dolphins can. But I know what you're thinking, because I'm thinking it too. Dolphins and whales are great, but what I'm looking for is an army of sharks. For years, sharks have been considered too primitive or unintelligent to be trained the same way mammals are. But scientists at the John G. Shedd Aquarium in Chicago have shown that some species of shark can be trained the same way dolphins are. They've been trained to feed one at a time, and some of them even like to be cuddled. But of course, cuddling isn't what DARPA is interested in. They're looking to militarize sharks using neural implants. The implants are used to study and better understand sharks' incredible olfactory senses and ability to detect magnetic fields. They're also used to steer the shark. By stimulating the region of the shark's brain associated with smells, they're able to turn the shark left or right. The stronger the stimulation, the sharper the turn. They're looking to use this steering technique to turn sharks into imperceptible aquatic spies.
As you may be aware, Russia has taken control of Crimea, and along with it, they've commandeered Ukraine's marine mammal facility. I'm not sure I'm comfortable knowing that Putin has control of such a powerful marine arsenal, and I know I don't trust my own government, which is why I've already started assembling my own underwater animal armada. They are completely under my control and obey my every command, and with them, I will be unstoppable. Inky, quit it! Quit it! I'm in the middle of a video. I'll feed you when I'm done. Ow! Watch the beak! Watch the beak! Obey me! I command you!